Welcome to the presentation of the EpiPX, a unit which combines power quality functionality with a digital fault recorder. This unit has four voltage inputs, which are galvanically isolated and can measure up to 600 volts. Additionally, the PX has eight current inputs. Four inputs are for direct current measurement up to 32 amps, and four inputs can be used for current sensors. Current as voltage input have a maximum sample rate of 200 kHz. The system features eight binary inputs in two groups with a measurement range of 24 to 300 volt DC. You can also capture temperature by using a PT1000 sensor and output a voltage of plus minus 10 volts. The four 10 volt sensor inputs can be used to connect all kinds of sensors such as light, pressure or even wind strength. Two binary outputs can be used to send signals to the control system. Time synchronization can be done either via DCF signal, a GPS antenna or NTP time protocol. The antenna supply of the PX are 12 volts. Those can be fed either over a wide range power supply or a typical battery. Next, you have the COM ports, which are one the interlink for connecting various units together, such as different EPPX or Sherlock units, two USB ports for data management, and one Ethernet port for the communication with the network. The control of the device is realized by the 7 inch touchscreen and four functional keys. Additional LEDs show the system status. The local display features different online views and analyzing functions, which I will be explaining now. The scope functionality to view voltages and current. A vector diagram with amplitudes and angles. A trend view with an evaluation of all measurement values for 60 seconds or 10 minutes. A bar graph view for better comparison between each phase, a harmonic overview to view all harmonics from voltage and current. If a limit value is exceeded, it will be shown immediately. And also a numerical view, which features voltage, current, flicker, THD, and so on. Under status, you can see the system status, such as active instruments, sync state, binary inputs, binary outputs, and system memory. Under analysis, you have your evaluation functions for your digital fault records. As well as your dynamic disturbance records. Also you see violations of your settings, as well as the limit settings. And lastly, under settings, you can access the system settings, license status, recorder functions, as well as change the communication parameters. More information can be found under cocos.com. Thank you for watching.